to share with you another section of um, my collection of uh, insects and arachnids of invertebrates. Some of you may remember my butterflies and moths video. Well, this one is going to be a little This is a jewel beetle, and it really does look like a jewel. Some of these I mounted, and some of these uh, came pre-mounted. And they all really need to be dusted. So I figured it was a good excuse. And this is definitely not my entire collection. Not this and the other ones put together. There are quite a number more. This one's called Tocina Splendida. And it's a cicada. It's not the largest cicada I have, but it's the only blue. These ones are called Senna nobilis, and they are lantern flies, and they have these amazing noses. This one curves up, and this one has this little
It's a type of fly that infects bamboo. And it's got those amazing, these arms, these little hands. Some of these I would really like to open. all of my insects came to life. I wouldn't mind this one so much because he's so big. I would, you couldn't miss him. It's those little tiny scorpions that would freak me out because you don't know where they'd be. Now these ones on the other hand are beautiful. also sell these with the wings open, but I really like them closed like this. They have this symmetry that I find really appealing.
these are going to show up on camera the way that I hope that they will. There are three different species. I cannot even begin to imagine how this is pronounced. Let's see. Let's sound it out. Baki. separately and mounted them together because they really work as a set. And this one is called a water scorpion, but it's not actually a scorpion, it's just a beetle. And this thing that looks like a stinger is actually quite flexible. He's gigantic, <laughs> but not the largest millipede that I have. That honor goes to this guy, just known as millipede. Now, for those of you who are freaked out by millipedes, take heart, because millipedes eat detrius and discarded and decaying leaves. They're one of the oldest creatures on planet Earth far older than dinosaurs and sharks. They go back to the Carboniferous and um, I believe even to the Permian. Just ancient creatures. And um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. Now centipedes often will bite or sting. They are aggressive predators. Millipedes are harmless. There was a type of millipede uh, in the Carboniferous um, called, what was he called? Anyway, he was about as large as a car. It's about seven feet long. I can imagine riding one. Extraordinary whether you're 
system of belief you ascribe to, you have to admit that uh, the variation in nature is just extraordinary. This is a wonderful one. Batocera uh, Wallacei. He's got, he's another mimic. You can see he looks a lot like a stick or a leaf. But he's got those incredible antenna. They were so hard not to break when I was mounting him. They're so delicate. Just the tiniest wrong move and they'll snap.
these are these uh, feelers here are not actually feelers they are um, a, a pair of arms that has uh, mutated or evolved to suit its need to reach out and touch things in dark caves the prey brush against it without the prey noticing are you there are you there oh yes you are and then it grabs it with these horrific looking mouth parts and believe it or not this kind of creature is completely harmless to humans it does not bite or sting and some people keep them as pets and um, they are some of the most affectionate uh, invertebrates with their young they will keep their young and protect them and retain a family unit. So, although it's very creepy looking, it's actually a wonderful uh, and amazing type of insect. Well, not an insect at all. <laughs> Creature. And this one, wow. This pretty much says it all. Obviously, this is a leaf, walking leaf. As you guys already know, I love mimics. I have a couple walking leaves and several walking sticks. This is the largest type of walking leaf in the world. Phylum giganteum, obviously. And if you can look at it really closely, this is not damage. This is actually part of its disguise, because leaves aren't perfect, parts of them are dead, or dying. Every single part of this bug looks like a leaf. Even its antenna look like little tiny sticks. All the legs look like the middle vein of leaves. And there are vein details that are so fine.
usually stop to thank everyone because I don't want to sound like a psycho fan, but, uh, but I really appreciate you. It's really fun to have somebody to share these things that I'm really passionate about with.